Hi everyone, my name is Shana Cavuto and I manage the customer care team here at Pepper Jam. Today I'm going to walk you through how to implement the Pepper Jam tag container. This is necessary to prevent against ITP 2.1 and other tracking prevention protocols from Apple. This will protect your tr transactions on Safari and other browsers as well. The Pepper Jam tag container can be installed directly on your site or through an existing tag manager. With the Tag Manager solution, you can reduce the amount of manual work related to the ever-changing browser functionality, including Google's parallel tracking. So let's take a look at how to install the tag container. First, you'll need to get your container tag code to place through your container manager. Navigate to Resources and Tracking Integration, and click on the tab for Container Tag. This is the code you will need to place across all pages of your site. The easiest way to do this is to copy and paste this code and add it to your Tag Manager, Telium, Google Tag Manager, whatever Tag Manager you're utilizing. It's very important to place this code at the head of all pages of your site. Including this on all pages will ensure Pepper Jam will be able to collect the click ID no matter what page your publishers are driving traffic to. So once the, container, the Tag Container is placed within your Tag Manager, the next step is to test. So simply click on the next tab to test tracking and then click on the publisher text link, test link that you see here. So we'll navigate to an existing current site. Uh, so there's a couple things that you'll want to look for. Um, the first is to make sure that the click ID is present in the URL. And we could see that at the end here, click ID equals a string of numbers. This is your click ID. So confirm that you're able to see a click ID here. Next, you'll want to open your developer tools. And in Chrome, you can simply right click and then click on inspect. From here, you'll want to navigate to application. And then on the left here, we'll see cookies and the site. And what we're looking for here is PJN dash click. So next you'll want to see what the variable is. We can see here each distinct click along with the associated click IDs. Here you'll want to match your last click to the click ID visible in the URL. So we can see here my last click ID uh, in the variable here is 2136, which matches to the URL. So this confirms that we're receiving this variable in both the URL as well as the cookie. And this information will be sent to Pepper Jam to confirm tracking. So this means that you're all set for, two, for ITP 2.1. So if you find that this is the case, please reach out to us and confirm that you are all set. Uh, you can simply send an email to us at advertiser-integration at pepperjam.com. Uh, Pepper Jam may also do our own testing to confirm that you're, you're set up for ITP. Um, but certainly reach out to us if you have any questions around this. Um, we also have an article with more details about ITP, uh, and you can find this within the Knowledge Center, which is located under the Resources menu in your left nav. So thanks so much for joining me on this video, and have a fantastic day.